Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, I know we all hate stringing the crosses. My buddy Dennis taught me something. He figured out a trick for all you beginners. All right, guys, so coffee, not sponsor of the day, but coffee toast of the day goes out to the soon-to-be Mr. and Mrs. Michael Lee. Michael and Lauren, I am super happy for you. Congratulations on your engagement. I called it about a year and a half ago, and they finally did it. Michael did did what he was supposed to do, popped a question, couldn't let this one get away. All right, guys, congratulations. All right, so if you want to support my coffee habit, network is buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin. Thank you in advance. All right, so my buddy Dennis um, literally was just in here about an hour ago. He's like, I found a trick to stringing the crosses. I mean, he's a home stringer. He strings his own rackets. He strings his son's rackets, maybe his buddy's rackets. But, I mean, he doesn't string 10 rackets a day like me or or 20 rackets a day, whatever it is, however many freaking rackets I do a day. Um, he just, you know, does it when he needs to, right? And he's like, I found this trick. But you need something from the toolbox. Go to your dad's toolbox. So you find something that looks like this. This is a small one. So as you can see, you go to the one of these nuts here and you take one of those, uh, one of these things. Okay, not too big, not too big, not too not too small but not too big okay i'm gonna show you why for all you kids out there who just took this okay make sure you tell your dad because if he's looking for this he's not gonna be looking on the stringing machine tell your dad ask for permission first i'm a dad and if i'm missing this and i needed this uh i'm be pretty mad all right all right guys so we're at the racket at the machine okay gonna show you how this works you put the string through the grommet, okay? You get the nut. Or is this just a nutty way of stringing? So you, look, I put it through. It's right here, okay? It's about maybe 18 inches of string through. This string is under, therefore I'm going over that first one, right? So I'm gonna get it in position sideways. All right, so I'm sliding through. Look at that. Got some speed going. Granted, this is my second time doing this, and I'm getting some speed going. All right? I take the nut. Boom. I'm on the other side. Tension that. So just in case you missed it, we'll do it again. Get into the hole first. Okay, look, I took about maybe a 14 inches out. I dropped the nut in. Okay, now again, we go over the first one, over under. It's a little slippery, this nut. I, I'm not going to lie about that, but it's also helping to slide the over unders. Okay, so I just grab the nut at the end, grab the string that's on, you know, this side, pull it straight out, and I'm on the other side. So what the nut does is it helps, right? Instead of the string, you know, you, you figuring out the string going over and under, you know with this big bolt that you're pushing it down and it's coming up and down. Right, so it actually slides because it's round and it's smooth. Guys, Rob just walked in and he saw me doing this. And I was like, what'd you think of that, Rob? 
Let's give it a shot. I haven't used a. Um, you ever used a nut to string before? I haven't used the eight millimeter um, socket, <laughs> um, whatever you want to call it. Rob's going to try it. He comes, like, he pulls I in, pull I pull me. out. So watch the difference. Through. And he hasn't tried it yet, so he might be a little nervous with it, <laughs> with everybody watching, too. Hmm. You definitely aren't going to make a mistake. Yep. Because you're rolling it up and over. Could get a little challenging as we run out of space. Yeah, run there, out of but... real estate, but... So I want to make sure I don't burn the string when I'm. Yeah, that's origin. It's got a nice pulling it back through coating on it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's you definitely can get. You know, you're not going to make. You get the feel of the under and pushing up and down on it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, where, where it's the same thing as the string, but you have way more weight that you're pushing um so you really feel weight and kind of a guide and a guide right right so yeah. so beginner stringers intermediate stringers people who hate stringing old stringers blind stringers you can feel it now okay feel it now all right i want to thank my man coach rob for trying it out he walked in just in time just in time try it i bet you you will shave Five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes from your string job. From what my buddy Dennis told me, you can actually go all the way down to the bottom with this and cut time. All right, guys, hope that helped. Thank you, Dennis, appreciate it. Congratulations, Mike and Lauren. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. That should be in an out. Motherfucker. Did you get it? No, it's right there. Coach Good, check yep. this out. Swing Vision got new commercial out. Oh. Check out his James Blake right. and They're Ronick. Right. Oh my God. He's still playing. I mean, he's still playing. Whoa. Whoa. What? Dude. Dude. That's damn fast. I can do it. I can do it, dude. Back in the day, I could I could do that. I could totally do that, dude. You can do that. You can do that. Let's go, man. We can show them how it's done. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Dude. Let's go. All Let's right, go. All right. All right. 85 miles per hour. That can't be right. No, that's definitely right. That's definitely right, man. 88 miles per hour. That's not a gigawatt. One more, one more. Watch me, watch me. 78 miles per hour. Hey, man. <laughs> Something wrong with this program. Nah, that's just you, bro. Let, you try. You try. Right, Let's okay, see what I'll you do. It. I'll do it. You're going to go 69 right here. 127 miles per hour. You can check out your serve speed on Swing Vision 2. Doc, we got an issue.